What's up guys, I'm NoobGenesis bringing you another Minecraft video and more specifically it's on TechIt and it's going to be using ComputerCraft. This is more an example of a script or a bunch of scripts I've been working on for not really a server that I'm setting up but an idea that I've got if I do want to set up a server. And that idea is apartments and currency and all sorts of stuff but mostly about the currency. Now obviously you can get currency mods and whatnot but I don't like them. Because most of them use this shit, like here. They use this stupid command console. That is not Minecraft. That is command console. That is what admins are supposed to use. That is what moderators are supposed to use. I don't like using that stuff. That's pretty much meant for chat, and that's it. In my opinion, at least. If I was to make a realistic world or whatever, I would not use that for currency. Because I don't think typing in commands is a good way to use currency if you're trying to make it realistic. Or at least realistic within Minecraft. So, for that, I've kind of been working on an actual currency system in game. And with this, I have not had to, I've not had to edit any mods, I've not had to do anything. I'm just using ComputerCraft at this point, and I've implemented other mods that were already in the TechIt pack. But everything was already in game for TechIt. There is nothing extra added on. So, the first thing you're going to need to know is... I want you to imagine this building as like an apartment complex, like you got all... Imagine it being taller and whatnot, and then different levels have different apartments, and probably imagine another apartment door over there. But this one here is your apartment. And what we're going to be doing is, I'm going to be showing you what it's like to kind of, how this whole thing works. So I'm going to go over here and show you the database computer first. Actually, no, one more thing I've got to show you quickly. Basically, you can see I've got this key card and floppy disk drive. Um, I'll explain that more in detail in a second, but basically what I've done is I've got it set up so this floppy disk has a password on it, a weirdly generated password, and this floppy drive is connected to a computer. That computer will also have a password on it. They've got to match up. This computer here is just a generator for keys or whatever. So basically the floppy disk is your key to get into your house, but that's only part of it. Now this is the important computer. This is the database computer. And I'm going to show you some. Edit client1. Now client1 is whoever owns that first apartment. Currently he has minus one dollar. So the person of the owner of the first house has minus one dollar. I'm going to set it to minus nine and you'll know why I'm putting, I mean sorry, I'm putting it to nine. So that means I've got a positive amount of money and you'll know why I'm using nine in a second. So that's a positive amount of money. Now if I come back to the front door, whenever that happens, there we go. And I put my floppy disk in. Bang, it spits it back out of me and the door opens up. Whoa, lag. So, what I've got set up for that at the moment is... I haven't actually made a door, like, a way to get out yet. That probably is a good idea. Actually, there's a button. Buttons are good. Uh, what is it? Redstone? Yeah. Uh, does that work on this wall? Alright, sweet. I hate buttons. They don't last long enough. Alright, so basically what happens is... So I put this floppy disk in. What it does is it checks the password. If the, pa like, if the key's password fits the computer's password or the floppy disk's password then it'll do to the next stage it'll go to the next stage sorry i'm missing it yeah messing up all my words what is wrong with me um it'll go to the next stage and the next stage is it'll send a message to the database computer and that'll say ah oh, can you please check if this person has enough credit and it'll send a mess it'll check the file that i showed you before and then it'll send a message back to this computer over here and uh, saying yes or no if it says yes like it does now, because I've got $9, you've got to have over $0, then it'll open the door. If not, it'll do nothing. You can't get into your house. So, basically, if you haven't got enough money, you can't get into your own house. That's pretty obvious. I mean, it's pretty much like getting evicted. So, that's how that works. Now, next up, we're going to show you... Well, I'm going to show you. I don't know why I'm saying we. I'm going to show you something different. Well, something else. Right here is a low voltage transformer and this is, we're going to think of this as our powerpoint plain and simple that's your powerpoint in your house so you move in you can place shit wherever you want but this is your powerpoint now you can put glass wire cabling and place other shit if you want to it's up to you which i am going to do so i'm going to place a bunch of electric furnaces these can be anything macerators doesn't matter but that's basically how i've got it set up now behind the scenes this is what happens when you use electricity first off you've got the solar panels this whole thing can be set up depending on how your building is. This is just a very clear cut way to show it. Um, obviously these can be up in the air higher if your building is taller and whatnot. But this is just a very easy way to, to show it off. These are high voltage solar panels. Uh, so it goes into a high voltage storage box which is an MFSU. And then it goes along this wire. We're going to ignore this side because that's not set up or anything. And then it goes through and it goes to this detector one which I'll get to that in a second. 
Then it hits the high voltage to medium voltage transformer that pretty much turns these high voltage currents into medium voltage and the medium voltage transformer into low voltage. So that'll go to this one and then we've got the low, the low voltage transformer. Plain and simple. So the reason I have to do that is I always put an electric furnace hooked up to either one of these. The electric furnace only accepts low voltage. If I put it up against one of these, it'd explode, which is why I need it to go to this, which is our power point. But anyway, that's just a little quick explanation for that. So how this works, if I look at this computer, it says 6 at the moment. Why does it say 6? I'll show you. The electric volts obviously going to come from the solar panels to the MFSU. Now it's going to go through here, and as soon as it gets to this, this is a detector piece. Every time a certain amount of EU, or electric units, goes through this, it's going to send off an, a redstone signal. This computer is set up so every single time it receives a redstone single, uh, signal from underneath, or from the bottom, it counts up by one. So I'm going to show you this now. I'm just going to use this one for a sec, and that's it. Alright, so it's going through, and you'll see in a sec it'll light up. Bang. So that means that should have gone to 7. Now if we keep watching, I'll look at this, and you can still see down the bottom there, it'll go to 8. After a certain amount of EU. 8. Now once this hits 10, it's going to send a message to the database, saying, oh, $10, or $10 worth of electricity has been used, deduct $10 from the person's account. And by the person, this is obviously hooked up to client 1's house, or apartment, so it's going to deduct $10 from client 1. Now at the start I showed you, I put $9 in the account, meaning once it deducts that $10, which it has just now, it's going to be at minus one dollar, and I'll show you what that means in a second. But after that, see, it resets back to one, and it just continues on. It keeps doing that as long as you're using electricity. Now, I'm going to put more in, because obviously, in real life, the more things you've got plugged in, like TVs and whatnot, the more things, the faster the electricity burns down. And you can see, look at this, it's going to pulse a lot faster, and it's going to count a lot faster. So obviously, using up more power, you're going to have to, be, you're going to, have to pay for more. That's pretty obvious. That's just like real life, and that's kind of what I'm going for. Now, as you remember, I have minus one dollar in uh, client one's account now for this apartment. If I put the floppy disk in, it spits it back at me, it's like, fuck you, you're not getting in. Plain and simple. I should put like a big monitor up here saying, fuck you, not getting in. Because that, that's pretty much what happens. You cannot get in because you haven't got sufficient funds. And I'm yet to put in something how you can earn more funds. I'll probably do something like you sell ore to a... Uh, like a trade system. I don't know, I'll set it up. But it'll also be something so like you can trade with friends currency for uh, items, but it's all done in-game. You can chuck it on any server and it'll work fine. And that's pretty much the way it works. Um, I haven't got a system set up so that when you have no funds you can't use electricity. That's going to be rather difficult to do because I can't seem to think of a way to do it in reverse because this is the detector piece. Um, but the computers can't shut off any of this, I don't think. I may be able to do it with electric pipes, but I haven't really tested it out. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, that's what I've got so far, guys. I'm going to be working on it some more, probably. I'm probably going to implement some things. Like I said, um, I want to do the whole... Uh, way I've got to add ways to earn some currency. Obviously, you can't just spend currency that doesn't exist. So, you've got to be able to earn currency. And I want it to be all automated. Because, obviously, if you trade with your friends for items, you can give each other currency. That's all good. But you've got to have somewhere where the currency starts from. So, I'll probably set up something like a system where... You go up to the computer, you have a chest, you go up to the computer or that's on top of the chest, you put an item into the chest, like uh, iron ore or something, then the chest checks what it is, oh, sorry, the computer checks what it is and then steals it and stores it and then you get credited. Something like that, something simple. I'll come up with something, I don't know yet. But that's what I want to do. And there's probably, there's a few other things I want to do, but I don't know. That's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this actually interests you. I may or may not start up a server at some point using this type of thing, if I can be bothered, and if I can actually bother, be bothered paying for it and stuff. I don't know. That's way down the future, anyway. I'd rather get everything done before I wanted to do that. But, as I said, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope this intrigued you. And, as always, guys, have fun.